really wanted to follow up on a bit more on this million dollar day. Because I mean, it really changed your industry. It was the four minute mile. Nobody thought it was possible. And I think there's a lot of people at home that, you know, they want to change their life. They, they have a vision of what they want to make happen. And they believe it sort of, but they never follow through. And so I'd love to kind of get a sense of how did you get to the point where, you know, you make a million bucks in, you know, 20, was it less than 24 hours? Yeah, it was uh, like 18 hours. In 18 hours, you make a million dollars. I mean, it's beyond most people's imagination. Yeah, and I think up until that point, the industry, the kind of record or whatever, the big thing that was thought of was like $100,000 in a 24-hour period. Wow. So, so, was, so you uh, took a 10x. Yeah, so it was August 17th, 2004. I'll never forget that date. One, because when I lived in Orlando at the time, uh, there was a hurricane, Hurricane Charlie, that just annihilated Central Florida. Wow. Cut out all my power, and um, I actually had to break my garage door to get my car out. Me and a friend drove from my place a couple hours north to where my parents lived to actually manage the launch day of that project that was happening like the next day. And it's, it's pretty interesting. It's almost like divine intervention because looking back on it, um, you know, no one knew for sure how great that day was going to turn out. Right. I, of course, believe big, and we're, we can talk about that a little bit. Right. Um, but uh, we can walk a little bit. Sure, sure. The neat thing for me was, and just reflecting on when that happened with the hurricane and everything else, was that I ended up getting to share that major day and accomplishment with my family, wow. who was always very, very supportive of me. Even when I was in over $100,000 of debt by the time I was 23 years old, right. you know, they trying had, to do this very thing, yeah, failing you know, at it, right? Yeah, you know, they had given me a little bit of money, and even when I was a lot of debt, they gave me a little bit more money. Not a lot, but just trying to help me until they could no longer help me anymore, and I had to figure things out on my own just because they weren't in that position. But um, so, anyways, just mentioning that, it was great to be able to share that accomplishment and have them be a part of it. My dad actually. Uh, managed a little whiteboard that showed how many sales you know before we the, the before the whole sale started I said this is the goal for us you know we're going for a million dollars in the launch day for right. 24 hours because it's never been done anything like it and so we wrote on the board exactly how many sales were needed to reach the goal so you broke it down yeah and every hour I'd report to my dad and he'd ask for the update and he was so proud managing the whiteboard <laughs> changing the number of how many more were to go right. and uh, it was it was just an exciting day all the way around but and none of that would happen if you hadn't had the hurricane coming and you would have been by yourself exactly yeah and who knows maybe it never would have happened because of just you know the circumstances That's but very cool. but yeah it, it's interesting that that million dollar day really changed a lot of people's mindsets you know people have compared it to like the four minute mile right you know Roger Bannister and and you know you yeah, were well, telling yeah you were telling me off camera how many people broke the four minute mile once he did it well somebody said 37 the real number is 24 24 people within a year for thousands of years this wasn't something that happened for 100 years in the roman times they're trying to do a four minute mile it was thought the human body couldn't physically go that fast they would even put a guy with a rope with a bull behind him to get an extra incentive so he wouldn't get gored and it would happen but roger banister ran that four minute mile by rehearsing it in his head. He could never get his body to move that fast, so in his mind he saw it over and over and over again until he got this little sense of certainty and kicked it over the edge. But the kicker is, just like you in your industry, once that happened, 24 people run a four minute mile within a few years, and now high school students run four minute miles. Right. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And now here, you know, filming this in 2009, five yeah. years later, a little less than five years, yeah. you know, not only has that, you know, Million Dollar Day been done by multiple people, I've actually done it several times myself now, again, yeah. but other people have gone way beyond that. You know, Frank has, has been involved with a massive day many times that, yeah. but it was like a huge mindset shift in yeah. people to make that happen. So let's talk about that, because sure. everybody has mindset, you know, people sure. watching, say, sure. okay, really, like yeah, they're going to go wonderful, you had a Million sure. Dollar Day. Sure. Jerk, I've never even had a $10,000 sure, day, sure, right? Absolutely. So uh, what I wanted to get across, though, is you knew exactly what you're going after. You had absolute certainty you're going to find a way to make it right. happen. You envisioned it. A week, a week before, and this is anyone can look this up online, a week before the launch day, I registered the Internet domain name MillionDollarDay.com. Wow. And it's, it's, it's fact. It is registered. People can go and look it up right now about what the date was when it was registered and it would have been like August 10th because the launch was a week later on the 17th. So we, this is what we've been talking about, right? Yeah. That, that you had this vision, you made it so clear and real in your mind, so certain, and then you found a way to execute and you had some grace, right? There's right. a little bit of, of luck course. and a little course. grace involved. Of course. So it's like, what do you do? You have to have three things. You have to have this absolute obsession on what you want, even though it's never done before. You gotta get yourself so certain. You gotta secondly execute, because you still have to execute. Right. And then you have to have some grace, and those three things work. But I want to get across something else. Before we had a million-dollar day, right. 
what was like a giant peak for you? Didn't you have like a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, well, about three months before that. Come sit down by the fire. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> we'll sit down. I want to hear that. So about three months before that, right? Um, a mutual friend of ours, Jeff Walker. Right, I know Jeff. Who, uh, Jeff? It's it's kind of a funny story because Jeff was known. Uh, you know, Jeff orchestrates product launches. He had a lot of experience with it, more than anyone else in our industry. Right. And at the time, back then. Jeff was known, for, he was called Six and Seven. That was his little code name because he made six figures in seven days. Right. And so I was getting ready to do uh, a seminar, my own event. And up until this point, it's been the only one I ever did. Frank actually got me to do it. Right. And uh, I never sold anything to the internet marketing market. He said, you know, you really should just do an event. People would love to hear from, just you teach for a week. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it. Right. So before releasing it for sale, I was talking to Jeff on the phone. We'd become friends at that time. And Jeff was sharing some principles with me on building anticipation in marketing. You know, not just coming out with something for sale, building up to it. You know, it's just right. like the music industry. When they release an album, you know, they let you know months in advance or a movie comes out. Sure. You know, so, so Jeff taught me some principles about building anticipation. And so I put that into my marketing with everything else that I had kind of figured out from my own experience. Right. Um, I released the seminar. And I did, actually ended up doing like, a, it was like $100,000 that was made in, in the first day, but it really all came in like the first 12 minutes before I took the site down. Wow. You know, I mean, it wasn't going to do much more than that if I would have left it up. But so I teased Jeff. I was like, you know, you did 100,000 in seven days. I did it in 12 minutes. And so, you know, all of us <laughs> are really, we're real good time. friends. It's competitive. It's we competitive. support each other. And, yeah. you know, I was thrilled when Frank broke my record after I did a million dollar day. And, yeah. you know, and so we're very supportive of, of each other and of anyone in the industry because it's, it doesn't take anything away from me. It's good for them. So, so that happened. So I had that milestone of $100,000. And part of what drove you in each of these cases was one to set the standard higher. That's what yeah. all of you guys are doing. You like love stairs. each other. You go higher and higher steps. So, so, so do me a favor because sure, a lot of people sure. go, okay, you blew me away with a million dollars in you know, less than 24 hours, you know, 100,000 in 12 minutes. Right. But before you ever got there, there were lower stairs. Sure, but sure. Bring me down because you didn't go straight to no, that. You could do it. Not. You could do it today because you've demonstrated it, right? Absolutely. It's, it's like the four minute mile. Absolutely. But where did it start even earlier for you? Before you got to the hundred thousand, sure. what was the biggest day before it was, that? It was like twenty two thousand. Okay. And you know, and it was um and, and that had done about um forty thousand in a week. Right. And why I remember this so much is because the goal for me always, which we've kind of talked about a little bit before, just you know, talking today. Um, for me, my goal early on was just 40000 a year because right. I knew that number. I wanted, of course, billions one day, right. but I knew with that number I wouldn't have to have a real job, right? So, right. you know, 40000 for me was the number to be right. able to, to do my own thing. Right. And so when I, I did that a f two or three years earlier than that in a week, and for me that was just mind-boggling, you right. know, but it was about a $20-some-thousand dollar day if we're comparing it to days. Right. Right. And then before that, you know, it was probably about $4,500, and I remember that specifically. You were telling me when we first talked. Yeah. That was the one you were telling me about. Well, that's the that's the one that probably meant the most to me. Why? Um, now, by the way, somebody watching, you hear these million dollar numbers, and it's like some of you are like, "I'm going to do that." Others are like, "I don't need a million dollars, or I don't believe that's possible." But forty five hundred bucks in a day is what a lot of people would love to be able to make in a month. Of course, right? of course. Why did that one mean so much to you? Um, I think because that was the most that ever came in, you know, at one time above maybe right. four or five hundred dollars. Right. It just all came in at once in one small period of time. And I was like, wow, you know, I yeah. can really see the potential right. of doing something in a short period of time. Right. You know, so you've literally lived that model that we teach. We talked about previously, which is the potential's there for anybody. You got to get yourself to take action in the right actions and you'll get the result. But the problem is most people don't believe to start with. And you just built that belief by right. getting your first you know, $400 day and then turning eventually a $4,500 day right. and then a $20,000 day and then $100,000 12 minutes and then one day you're doing a million dollars and breaking the records in the world and now you do many of these million dollar right. days, right? So and, what, do you, what would you say? And that's why I to, talk about that make a dollar first thing yeah, that I told please, you about. Yeah, tell me yeah, more so about it. when I, you know, teach students and try to get, the, you know, people that have never made any money for themselves or even if they're already doing something and I get them to kind of start over to go in a new direction, you know, you know, well, Backing up for a second. So, you know, the first thing I ask people is like, well, how much money do you want to make? Right. And the wrong answer that I get from people is, well, as much as possible. Yeah, as much as possible doesn't exist. That's right. And I know you're big into specifics right. and getting people to think specifics, and, and so am I, because you can reverse engineer any number. If you want to make $10 million a week, there's a plan for that. That's right. But I tell everybody, but you have to start 
with making a dollar first. There's almost been no one in the history of mankind that's made a million dollars, whether it's, whether it's in a day, an hour, or 10 years, before they made a dollar. Without a doubt. So it starts with that smallest level of, of, of you know, incremental progress. That's why they always say the second million is always easier to make. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because exactly. the first million is the learning process. Exactly. And, and you take that million concept and you bring it down to the dollar, and that's achievable. So one of the things I think the message is for people watching, what's holding them back is thinking they have to do 100,000 in a minute or a million or 10,000 or some big number. What they really have to do is just first show themselves yes. that they can make some money. Actually, and then well, to validate to the brain that, hey, this works, that's right. what I'm doing. That's right. Because and once we get that certainty. Yeah, because if someone can put in the work to make a dollar at any process, they're 90% of the way to making $100,000 with the same process. Right. You just do more of the same thing. And you leverage it. And technology yeah. allows you to leverage it without more, anywhere near the amount of energy. Easily, easily, you know? easily. And, easily. and, and that's the difference between having a job and having a free, you know, life that has total freedom in it. And that's why also, you, you know, you're talking about like your second million is easier than your first million. It's the same belief concept in all this. Why people that build fortunes and, and something happens and they lose everything. Yeah can start over so quickly and get it all back. Like, yeah. I believe that about myself. If yeah. you took away everything that I have today, I would probably be back where I am and probably beyond it in a few months. Yeah, because you've made the shifts inside yourself that made it possible in the first place, and you know you can do it both. There's a gentleman, I'm blanking his name, I think he was the big advertising guy. I apologize, I can't think of his name. True story. He built a fortune of about a half a billion dollars, got it to three quarters of a billion dollars, and then he cashed out and he bought the, I think it was the stop and go franchise, like 7-Eleven, and in three or four years lost it all, almost a billion dollars. And he was 62, 63 years old. In four years, he made a billion dollars. He got the stuff back, and he got everything that it took him, you know, 60 years plus to be able to earn, and then some in four years because inside of him, and I think that's the beauty of this, you have to shift what's going on in you to shift what's going on in your world. If you make those shifts inside of yourself and you learn how to do that, there's no limit to what you can achieve or what you can create in your life, and you're proof of that. Yeah, absolutely, and so it starts with the smallest amount of progress. Any progress at all is worth gold compared to no progress, and people don't realize that. Most people, when I say, let's focus on making that first dollar, you know, most people's natural reaction is, uh, you know, like, oh, a dollar, what's that going to do for yeah, me? Yeah. And I'm like, you have no idea the power of what it will do inside your head and what it will do for you if you just make that dollar. Because you're just so much closer to the $100,000 that you want to make in a year or a month yeah. or whatever it is yeah. than, than you are without that. And so uh, it, it starts with that, and then obviously the beliefs just, they exponentially compound. Yeah to greater and greater beliefs. And so that's exactly what happened with me, where, where we started this conversation, yeah. with the million dollar day and where that all began. For me, it was a progression. You know, I wish it would have happened faster in my life. I wish I would have had you telling me, I wish I would have known more about how you structure belief systems and, yeah. and how you can get it inside your head yeah. to take it to a higher level. Yeah. I didn't need to go through all those years before I would finally believe it myself. Yeah. And so that's the challenge for people is you can believe that. You can believe the million dollar day today, yeah. which many people ended up doing after I accomplished that. That's and right. that's why it, it, it happened for others. Yeah. Same thing with the four minute mile. It's all totally those other true. runners were like, well, he did it. And then, bam, 20-something people went and did it right yeah, away. And yeah. who knows how many since then. Yeah. Well, high school know. students are doing it now. Yeah, Literally. exactly. Literally. Exactly. So, so. I, I think, um, well, I want to thank you for sharing this because sure. it reminds people that if somebody has already, you know, taken the path and made it possible, it's not something that's never been done, your ability to get there can happen so much more rapidly. But you've got to start with the first increment and not be embarrassed by that or think like it doesn't matter. I always tell people one thing equals happiness, progress. Right. If you're not where you want to be financially, you're not where you want to be physically or a relationship, make some progress. Even if you haven't lost the weight yet, but you start walking, you start jogging just a little bit, after four or five days, you're going to feel good. And the same thing's true financially. Get yourself on a program and start making progress. Even if you're not there yet, you're making a few thousand dollars, a few hundred dollars, it'll give you momentum. And momentum is how you go from 400 bucks a day $4,500 a day to a million plus in a day, and anyone can make it happen. That's the and, and you just touched on the key, I believe, as well. The moment, momentum is the most powerful force in all in building wealth. Yeah. It's just like literally like that snowball going downhill. But you got to get that and, first tip exactly, over the edge, right? And, and that's, for most people, the hardest thing, or the thing that never happens, unfortunately, for most people. They don't get the pebble rolling down the hill. Yeah. 
because they're just thinking of the big boulder, and that's what they want in their lives is the big boulder already churning. Yeah. But they don't realize that if they just give the little flick to the pebble to get it yeah. started, yeah. that it's almost like everything else mentally takes care of itself. True. It just compounds and compounds. So, yeah. you know, hopefully people watching this, that's what they take away from this, is that the millions or the you know hundreds of thousands or whatever it is that they desire financially in their lives is only going to come to them by starting with that smallest amount first exactly. and then just letting it accelerate. It doesn't mean if you start with a small amount that it has to take years and years and years for it to reach right. 100,000 a year or whatever else. But the, the, I think the, the main point here is that must start. There is no other way around it yeah. to get what you want except to start with the smallest increment, which I believe is just a dollar, and it's getting perfect. the process going and then just letting it grow. <laughs>